crashed on both sides. <laughs> well, that was lovely. We were only up there for like five minutes, but it was definitely worth coming up. Don't get attacked by that tree again. No. <laughs> Welcome to Cambridge. Good morning and welcome to our channel Wandering Adventures coming to you from Cambridge, England and this is the next city on our UK cities tour. We've just been and got some lunch and now we're having a wander around until our booking on the Punting River. From what I've seen so far, there's a lot of people on bikes and on these scooters and it's very bicycle friendly, which is great if you want to hire one to get around. This is the start of the pretty buildings. It's a patisserie Valerie and this lane's called Jesus Lane. A quick wander down All Saints Passage. Should we go down? There's some cute little boutique shops here. There's another official merchandise shop. Although that looks, yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure how official that is. Ooh, professional chocolate here. <gasps> Look how cute that bear is. Yeah, rich people don't ask for the price. No, they don't. Kit <laughs> Bridge Cheese Company. That looks posh as well. We can't afford these shops. <laughs> is it a market? Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah. This this was a great this was a great passageway to just come down. Is that the main university building? It looks like it. Wow. Oh. You've got a little um, a little market. makers market. Should we have a look? I love all of these posters on the gates with the bikes. All Saints Garden Art and Craft Market. It's in the path. I thought there was a path there wasn't. Oh sorry. <laughs> cafe. <laughs> Cambridge Literary Festival. I wonder if that's through there. Oh yeah, it's Okay, so it's not the university. Look how pretty this is. This is amazing. Look at that giraffe. One. You can buy it at auction on the 19th of June. Look how cool this is. St. John's College. Six pounds to view the courtyards, gardens, and bridge of size. Cool. So it's six pounds to enter and then you can wander around at your leisure. They do give you a map. Wow. There's also a wedding going on today. So there is a section that we can't go into so the chapel's closed. Yeah, it reminds me of that. It does feel like we're on a movie set. Yeah, this is beautiful. Like, yeah. Okay, she steal the show. Look at all those faces. Yeah. What do you think those faces are for? <laughs> 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 It'd be nice if you could live here. That's going to be us this afternoon. Pretty bridge as well, isn't it? This is kind of scary. It's a very pretty bridge. It's a very pretty area. It's a bridge in the building. Yeah, the bridge is between the buildings. It's weird. Yeah, London's like a different climate. It's 
amazing. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, it does feel very Harry Pottery. <gasps> Look at this. This is my building nerdiness coming out. This is spectacular. <laughs> You're just singing the Harry Potter thing. It's stuck in my head. <laughs> looks like it would open the Chamber of Secrets to be fair, that picture frame there. Yeah, it's nice. It's very nice. These doors as well. So you can go out there. Yeah, well these are, this must be like the gardens that we do now. I don't think you're allowed on the grass, are you? Mm. Gonna have to make do with this slightly strange angle because I can't go on the grass. You get the impression though. Very nice. Maybe not all the midges that are flying around my head under here. So this is the other bridge that we saw from that bridge. Now we're on the other side of it. Oh no, they're even drinking champagne. Oh, they're living the best lives there. Who needs Venice? Who needs Venice? Champagne and punting along Cambridge River. And the more you try, Look at the gargoyle statues the more you up there. Do, it's very down <laughs> It is. It is beautiful. Definitely worth the six pounds. And there's the river. This is the Cambridge that I was expecting. So, so nice. Good. These flowers are so pretty. This camera is not picking it up at all. What, it smell like? what do they smell like? Like spring. It smells like spring. Mm -hmm. They're all over there. All the blossom trees as well. What building is this? Because this is another building. Especially with the birds. Very nice. It's very beautiful though, I like it's good. No wonder they do so well. That just doesn't match at all. No, it's horrible. <laughs> that building. Modern. That's the modern part. The modern, what's it called? Residence. Beautiful buildings. Not quite so much. We've just come through that really nice archway onto these awful block buildings. There have to be about 500 years between these buildings. Yeah. These are made in the 60s. Yeah, they don't really match the vibe. Still the river though. I mean, you're in it. You're in it. Work it, dude. <laughs> There's another giraffe. Oh, it's Isle of Green Gables. That's what it's based on. Oh, they're based on books. Oh, they're based. It's from the in the literary from festival. the literary festival. Do you want a picture of the literary? Uh, <laughs> this is a pretty street. Another Cambridge gift shop there. They sell the tours as well. Oh, these are all the different colleges. So many. This tree, I'm not sure which tree it is. There might be a sign. It's Newton's apple tree. It's where Newton was sat when he discovered it. But I don't know which tree it is. It's one of them. I wonder if there's a sign. Or maybe they're not 100% sure which tree it is and it's just all of the trees. <laughs> maybe it was this tree. This one that stood on its own. 
it was apples, so I don't know, I don't really know what trees look like, but if anyone could tell me if that's an apple tree, that'd be great. So many bikes in this city. Kind of reminds me a bit of Amsterdam. If I'd have just walked a little bit further, I would have been able to see that it was that tree because everybody's taking pictures of it. There's the tree. I'm really liking it. So we went for a bit of a wander and now we are trying to look for our hunting booking. There's quite a few different companies that do it, I think, so we're trying to find the right one because we've booked in advance through Get Your Guide. So we're just walking along here now, trying to find it. But it's a nice little walkway. So we're booked with Rutherford's Hunting, but there are a lot of different companies on this section. So just double check who that you're actually booked with. Everyone seems helpful though, because I imagine a lot of people have the same issue. So if you book here, it's £40 per adult, £30 for concession and £25 per child. We booked through getyourguide.com and it was only £30 per adult, so worth checking. And this is where we're going. Here's our boat. First group of two, just on here for me please. Hello, welcome. Oh. Yeah, you can take a bag with you. Jump on. There's an umbrella in case it rains, <laughs> which it very much might. And a blanket. <laughs> you could keep us warm. <laughs> Off we go. sharing the river with many other boats. This is cosy. <laughs> Cambridge are known for the boat racing, aren't they? They're yeah. rowing. Hunting racing, are the rowing for the rowing. Mm -hmm. rowing. And on my right, you can see the Murderland College. The first one of the accept female students in 1988. Wow. So we're going to start to accept them in 1988. So women couldn't go to this college until 1988. Oh, he's mad. We're so close to the water, there's just ducks next to us. Bridge. So on this tour you get to see eight bridges and seven different colleges. It's a cool bridge. The arch was rebuilt in 1982. There's a half on half off bus there as well. We won't be getting it today but it's good to know that there's an option. It's not rain. It looks like it might rain, but now it's really sunny. So now I've got my sunglasses on. I know, and I'm squinting. <laughs> These tiny boats are really cute, aren't they? I know we're so low down. So you can hire them to do yourself. It looks hard, though. <laughs> That. That <laughs> oh really? <laughs> and the actor who played Stephen Hawking actually went to Cambridge as well. So Eddie Redmayne. There you go. So they filmed it at what was it called? Yeah. John St John's College. St John's College, the one that we were walking around before. Yeah, they must have filmed it around here. Look at that tree. It's <laughs> a funky tree. So this is where we were before at St John's College. We walked across that bridge and it's just over there to the left. And that is where they formed the theory of everything. Exactly. Hitting a little bit of congestion over here. <laughs> Going under the bridge now. This is actually quite relaxing even though the river's busy. Yeah. It's nice. It's the flute, isn't it? Yeah. And there's no noise because it's... I mean, it would be better with fewer boats. <laughs> it would be better with fewer boats, but I'm still very much enjoying it, especially now the sun's out. I like this bridge. 
this little one. Looks like a lot of them are, taught, are um, students. A lot of them are students. That's quite a cool, job cool part time job, that isn't it? It's better than working in a shop like I did. Old Bridge. This is the second bridge of the St. John's College. This is Old Bridge and New Bridge. Yes, yeah, we don't travel on the bridges. We just sail past. <laughs> yes. That's where we were before. Now you get to see it from a different angle. <laughs> We should have brought a picnic. I've seen a lot of people with picnics. We live more than 50 years here in Cambridge. Maybe. And this is the second oldest bridge in Cambridge. Second oldest bridge. It's almost 500 years old. Trinity Bridge. 500 years old. Yes. This bridge. Oh. We've crashed on both sides. No, 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 no. <laughs> we are now a three boat <laughs> crew. Slight wind of it all over again. She was the richest woman in the world. And she married three times with three different rich husbands. But all the rich husbands, <laughs> they were dying after each marriage. So <laughs> this is the Clare Bridge. It's the oldest bridge on the river. And that's Clare College. Oh. <laughs> and on my left, this is the most famous peak. So the people are confused sometimes, is this the Cambridge University? No, it's not. This is King's College. King's College. And on my left, you can see the King's Chapel. This is the second largest chapel in the world. Second largest chapel in the world? Wow. To convey this chapel. And today, is, the is. people are making special events inside. That's and amazing. they can get married inside. Oh, you can get married in the chapel. There's the chapel. There's the chapel. That'd be a really cool place to get married. But the list is very busy, so you have to book before 30 years it's if you want to get married. That's and I'm weird. saying book now, start to search for a husband. Book, <laughs> book your wedding now. That was, that was good, they've got Pim's delivery. We're on the wrong boat. And we, are, we have a pump bar. If you like to drink anything, we can just stop by. <gasps> oh, it's a bar. It's a bar on the river. Pump bar. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. That's capitalism at its finest, that. Pump <laughs> bar. That's amazing. That you can just stop and get a drink on the way. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the examples. <laughs> <laughs> There's the mathematical bridge and there's another bridge behind it. But we're spinning back around now. Public library. So in 1998. Oh, another crash. <laughs> there are many, many people that are struggling with hiring them. Maybe just get a tour. <laughs> And the first floor is in this library is empty because one of the reasons they it's put a this library. library to protect the books from people because the rev people's level is almost going to the college's site so it might be a dangerous for the books that's why the first floors are always empty Come here, John. Come here, John. Museum of Cambridge 
says it's open, so we're going to go and have a look. Um, no, um, Inside, it's £6 entrance. Look, the outside's pretty. Mm. So that's a church up? up there. And then this is that came up on the list. Yeah. yeah, it says there's a cafe. It's such a cute shop. This is cool. It's a courtyard cinema. 26th to the 28th of April. I don't know when that is. 23rd to the 26th. in Architect Pub. The place came up as well. It's good. Yeah. Mm, we can maybe, try, maybe check it out. It's like just outside the city, so like we've just walked from down there, but we're staying up here, so we're just heading there now, checking in, dropping bags off. But we've just checked into our accommodation, dropped off our bags and come back out. We've brought the car back out because it's getting a little bit chilly as well. So we have parked in Castle Court car park, I think. If that's incorrect, I will correct it um, because we're going to walk up Castle Mound. We've just seen online that it's a pretty good viewpoint to see Cambridge from. So we're going to have a wander up there now. It says climb. It's not really a climb. It's a short walk up to the top from what I can see, unless it, it's more than you can see. So this is Cambridge Castle and that is the mound that we're going to climb. So this is what it used to look like and this is the mound with the castle on the top. Now it's just a grass patch. <laughs> yeah, this is horrible. Yeah, it's not very nice on the underfoot, whatever this is. Docks as well. I know you'd think they'd be good, but no, it's still not great. So do we go the steep way or the path or the steps way? I think the steps. Yeah, let's take the steps. Plus, there is a sign there that says erosion damage, please keep off, use designated footpaths. Clearly, people didn't follow that. Up the steps we go. I bet this would be a nice place to go for sunset, actually. It's a pretty good view, to be fair. Why buy my <laughs> so where have we been? Definitely been to that middle bit, haven't we? We've been here. That's Saint, that's Saint John's. We've seen this. Oh, and that's the forest that I was talking about. Oh, this is where the coach station is. <laughs> Wait, hang on, is that right on the camera? Where this forest wheel, please. Pretty good viewpoint, especially for a two minute little climb. Well, that was lovely. We were only up there for like five minutes, but it was definitely worth coming up. We could come up again. It'd be a nice place to sit and have a picnic if it was sunny, overlooking everywhere. Now we're just going to go for a wander through the streets, see some things that we might not have seen before and then try and find somewhere for food. So, just going on a general meander now, no exact plan. It's Madeline College. This is the one that didn't let women in until 1988. It's closed to the public but it's very pretty. It's Magdalene College. Just walk down another alley, I mean it's mostly bins. <laughs> but last last time we walked down an alley we had a really nice surprise so let's see yeah, the tree's nice there you go we've got a nice tree yeah these trees are lovely this is quite a cute little street to be fair it's fairy lights on the drain pipe <laughs> We've just come to cross town for a little snack. They're nearly closing, so we got 
free for the price of two and they look amazing. Uh, please could I get the banana and strawberry smoothie? I'm ready. Don't ah. me. Ah. So wait, they've got the cinnamon one on top. That's the um, one we're saving for that later. Is the one we're saving. That's like How that's gonna that? be our midnight snack. We've come back to this All Saints what was it, All Saints Market place. Mm. Well, and all of the stalls well. have gone now. So we're just having a nice seat. You just hold that for a moment. Birds are still out. Ooh, they're warm. It looks slightly more aesthetically pleasing before it cracked in the bag but I'm sure it's going to be just as delicious. <laughs> the review of my donut. This is a bold statement. It was the best donut I've ever had. It actually it was, really, was really, really it good. It was really, really good. It's because it was sourdough. It made so much difference. It was yeah. like a banana loaf with like yeah. additional toppings instead of a donut donut. It was yeah, so yeah. good. This is a very cute street. <laughs> Parker's Peace. It's the Ferris wheel. It looks really nice with the sunset actually. And found another giraffe. What's this one? This is Savannah's Golden Guardian. This got my attention. It's a plant based cafe, urban butterfly. So pretty. <laughs> Catholic church. It's a very nice church. All the detail on it. They have the gargoyles like on the Duomo in Milan. I mentioned that in my last um, vlog. They, 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 um, they're for water drainage. Oh, that's what they were for. Yeah, they're for water drainage, so that the water doesn't like collect on the stone and damage it, so it spurts out. But now I'm noticing them everywhere. Found a market square. And then I think we're on the opposite side of where we were when we went punting. It's just in time because the sun is about to set and everything will be dark. And the other sunset's lovely. And there's another giraffe. <gasps> there's two giraffes. There's one there. There's one here. Ooh. Oh, it's got a little teddy on it. It's cute. This one is Find Two New Perspective. This is literally. They're all available for option. It's all the yeah. Yeah, it's all the classics. Okay. That's cool. I love these repurposed foam booths. I'm glad we came down this road. This is so pretty. There's a lot of delivery motorbikes flying around, so it's probably a bit loud. giraffe. I'm obsessed with these giraffes. Is there a reason why they're all giraffes? Is there something to do with Cambridge as giraffes? Because I've seen a lot of them in like shop windows and things. What's this one called? Growth. Nice, like it. Nice one. Like it. Cool. It's the city. Are we in the historic quarter? Is that Oh, and then this is the church behind us. We're surrounded. Surrounded by pretty buildings. This is a really pretty. Look at that bookshop as well. Cambridge University Press Bookshop. Yeah, it's very nice, this area. Bells are going. And the moon's out. We've got the sunset and the moon. And another giraffe. This one's space themed. It's really far away. Theory of everything. 
hashtag be more giraffe. Not sure what that means. Be more unique? Maybe. <gasps> Look at that tree. Wow. That is massive. <gasps> I need to send a picture to Mark. He loves trees. Yeah, we've, had, we've already had the There's some construction work going on there. <laughs> Tourist information said to come to King's Parade because it's the most Cambridgey Cambridge street. And he wasn't wrong. No, no. He was not wrong. This is very Cambridgey. This is something they must use on every pamphlet, though. Yeah, definitely. It's very, very pretty. I think we might find some really cool food places here. Hopefully. Oh, look at that. I don't know, but I need to go see it. I just want to go see this, this oh, thing. Oh! Eagle. What was it? The most famous pub. I, I need to go see this thing. <laughs> oh, you can't really see it because of the reflection, but it looks like it's like a, a creature. It looks like an insect, like a dragon's head. Look at that. Hello, how are you? How are you? Good. That's ridiculous. I think we've hit a, a very good time as well with all of this light. Look at the moon. Ooh. Disco bike ride. Yeah, bike Cambridge bike bike party. Oh, oh, I love that. So we've just got back to our accommodation. We just drove up. This is our accommodation, by the way. We've got two little beds. We're just in an annex in somebody's garden. But we've got a TV, full bathroom, kitchen with a fridge. It's great. Does the job. So we ate at a Korean restaurant called Yori, which was very good. There were some service issues with our table and the table next to us. Uh, I think they were a bit manic with the Saturday night rush. But other than that, food was amazing. So would recommend it for food. Now we're going to go to bed and see you in the morning. Good morning, welcome to another day in Cambridge. We've just packed up the accommodation and headed into, into the city. We parked in a, in a car park called Adam and Eve Street. It looks like it's getting quite busy, but we did get there before 10 o'clock, so that was okay. It's a Sunday, by the way. Now we're just going for a walk. You see, already we've seen this lovely chapel, and we're going to try and get to the Botanical Gardens. So we'll be walking back past the park, back past the Ferris wheel, and onto the Botanical Gardens. There's the ferris wheel and another giraffe. This is cool as well. It's got writing on it in all different languages. This giraffe, what, what do we think its name's gonna be? It's got text written in the lightning bolts. This is, oh, she's just called Evie. Evie. She's cute, she's funky. We haven't found out what this means. I know, I did ask on the I've asked the viewers if anybody knows about the Cambridge giraffes, so hopefully somebody answers me and enlightens us. Well, as I said before, it's a very bike friendly city. This has a running total, so 174 cyclists today going past this pillar and 450,000 cyclists this year. That's amazing, that's so cool that it's digital and automatically renews. Figuring out where we're going. That funky public bathroom. We've just made it to the botanical garden. There is another lovely giraffe to greet us. This one is called Jungle Giraffe, aptly named. And then a very nice statue, very nice remembrance tribute. Now we're headed inside. I think this is the way. Yep. So the gardens open from 10 till 6, April to September. That's very good. And then here, just paying. 
it's £8.50 for adults and children go free. So there are different pamphlets that you can pick up just in the entrance with different trails that you can take and different plants to look out for. So you get a map when you walk in and otherwise you are free to just have a wander around. So on the back if you forgot to pick up a trail map there is a QR code there that you can scan and everything is on there. It should be a very nice time to visit because it's spring and all of the flowers should be starting to come out. Quite a big space for research. I love the living walls. Mm. Free Sunday tour, 2 pm every Sunday. One hour of seasonal highlights. Oh, uh, I don't know what any of these flowers are called, but they're all pretty. So, the first thing we've come across is the cafe and it is pretty cold so we might get a hot drink to take around with us. There's also ice creams, so we've got some pastries, sandwiches and some hot food too. And there's plenty of seating outside. There is indoor seating as well. The cakes look pretty good. This is a nice breakfast. In all its glory. Garden kitchen hot coffee. And a cross town cinnamon donut. It's so Cambridge. <laughs> it's so Cambridge. Got lovely little flowers behind us as well. Yeah, I thought we were going to steal our breakfast. <laughs> and the blackbird. It's over there now, I don't think you can see it. It's a very nice tree. We'll walk to the past. A lot of benches in this botanical garden, which is really nice. Plenty of places for you to sit and just be surrounded by the nature. These trees are so big that they're, they're spilling out onto the path. They look like they'd make a great den. Mm, look at this one. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, ducks are okay. I did geese the other day when we were walking on the canal that tried to attack Mark. <laughs> Poor Mark. I, I, was, I was running away, he was like, you're gonna have to run past it. I was like, no, it's really scary. Hi ducks. You gonna let me get close to you? These are nice too. I want some of these in the garden. Dawn Redwood. Oh, wow. Celebration of the Golden Jubilee has des designated Britain's first Dawn Redwood, one of 50, in recognition of its place in the national heritage. It's a big tree. What were you just saying about ducklings? I don't think the ducklings. Oh, so I was thinking where are all the mums? Look at the little ducklings. They're all having a nap. Let's go in for an adventure. Mm. Oh no, just a drink. Just a drink. They're adorable. This one's just all on its own. Oh, off he goes. Oh you mum? Yeah, come on. Mum, wake up. <laughs> I feel like you kind of ruined the nap a bit. There you go, he's snuggled in with the rest now. We're all the 
back today though like you just take one little path and look where it takes them yep oh, the second and third time it happens take the correct turn and you stumble across ducklings <laughs> This is lovely. That's how there are plaques with the names of all of these plants. They mean absolutely nothing to me. Fern, yeah. Ostrich fern. Big, big fern. Big, <laughs> big fern. Very nice to look at though. It's a very pretty trail. Glow in the dark as well. I feel like this camera is not doing it justice. It never does though. Look how cool that plant. A fern as well or something. Yeah, it looks like a fern. That's really cool. It's cool. Looks like a caterpillar. Look at this tree. That's obviously done. It's like the it's grown that way so that it could be closer to the water. Yeah. You know, I always think of snow white though, when I see trees like this. Yeah, it's it's magical, isn't it? Again. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cool these are. I'm not sure what they are. Yeah, it kind of reminds me a bit of that forest. I don't know. It's like, it looks like the kind of thing that you'd find in the desert. But obviously, it's definitely interesting. Mm. It's right next to water, so the leaves are huge. This is a very Interesting section. Oh, it's no! It's no! We've done so well with the weather. We actually, we actually were doing so well. We were so lucky. No, we thought it was going to rain on the boat. I know, we were so good on the boat, but now... I was convinced now that it's raining. Like, it would be us. Like, we'd get the rain right in our boat trip. Some nice rock formations. Oh, you can walk to it. There's a path. Oh yeah, I'll do it. Let's do it. Some nice area. Let's walk up here. Oh, this is a lovely spot. This is the greenhouse. Oh, this is such a pretty area. Here you can discover the diversity of plants that have evolved in natural, in different habitats. Oh, this is so nice, this bit. Cape of South Africa. Ooh, these can survive fires. It's a lot warmer in here, as you can imagine. Southwest Australia. This one's cool. Australian. Yeah. Oh, there's more information on the evolution of plants at that website. When I went to the Eden project, we were part of that. Oh, I'm getting attacked by a plant. 
It's just a tap tweet. <laughs> yeah, when we were in the Eden Project, the rainforest room was so hot that they had individual rooms to cool down. Like if, if you got too warm and they had free drinking water. But that was incredible. No, it's coming back down. I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick that up because of the sun it. behind it, but <laughs> they're really pretty. Oh, this is the Canary Islands. Mountains. Can you get in? No. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, because that's like rocky outcrops, isn't it? And what mm. would survive? It smells really nice in here, but I don't know what it is. This one smells like it smells kind of fresh and yes. yeah. 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 <laughs> These, they look like alien plants. Tropical rainforests in here. The humidity looks high. <laughs> it's wet in here. This feels like I'm in Florida now. I'd love a bathroom that looks like a tropical rainforest. What? There's fish. I think it's like a snake. No, if there was a snake, I'd have been running out of here. No. There is pond fish. It's a very strong smell, very nice smell. Tropical wetlands. Here we go. Some model rice field. It's a lovely colour. Plants, they're green on the top of the leaves and purple underneath. Yeah. God, it really is tell you where the plants are from. It's Malaysia, South America, Southwest 
Western Pacific, India. That's oh, really interesting. Arid land. This smells very similar to the arid area in the Eden Project. I could take a seat. <laughs> I wouldn't advise it. Golden Bull Cactus, Mexico. See, that actually does remind me of like the Western. Yeah. Wild West. <laughs> Ladybird to star of the show. <laughs> School's garden and garden oh, room. The kids, oh, did they design? Look how nice this is. Yeah, look, it's a little kiddie area. The little tractors. That's very cute. It's very sweet. And there's a building there which I'm assuming schools use. The chalkboard. Oh, come all the way to Brookside. So Lawn. we started here. Yeah, we started there. And we've made it all the way over here. We've okay. walked all the way down, past the fountain, okay. past the greenhouses to here, and then, and then we're going to carry on walking. See this <laughs> yeah, it has a name, doesn't it? It is called it was Systematic it. Beds. No, it wasn't, it wasn't called that. Like, it had a better name than that. <laughs> a message. Turns out. We've seen the water, we just didn't realise. That's where the ducks, ducklings were. So we need this to... This is where we are now. We're in Murray Walk now. And we have been here. And we have been here. We've, we've done this. this and we've done this wood because that's where those really cool trees were that were spilling out onto the path were. Yeah. So, so, so did we really start here? So maybe we've actually done pretty much all of it. Maybe we just need to do this bottom bit. So we, need to, we need to look for South Walk or Bateson Walk. Ways of starting and ways of looking. It's an interactive board. Should we go up the spiral? Uh, yeah. The viewpoint now. This is cool. Love a good viewpoint. <laughs> My glamorous assistant. <laughs> Thank you very much for the sunny. So there's a ramp to get up and if you go all the way around there are some steps but you can just turn around and come back on the ramp if you wanted to. Oh and it tells you information on the floor. And so you can get a different viewpoint. So you're higher up in the trees than you would be down there. This is very cool. Some information there so you can look for pine cones and equivalent on the floor are in the trees still I feel like a squirrel might high in the trees <laughs> so that maybe you're a squirrel yes yeah. It's a nice viewpoint. And there's some seats in here if you wanted to just sit and chill out for a bit. And then the steps to get back down. This is the Rose Garden. They're on their way though, about May, when yeah. it hits me. They are, there's none at the minute, but it still looks nice, them all laid out like this. Mm. It's a nice little area, I bet many people don't come to this section because it's a bit, yeah, and a bit separate from the, main path but we're doing all of it found a crocodile <laughs> this is a cute little area with all these tree stumps mm, it's a good place to read a book it is a good place to read a book Not under the tree that's a good tree <laughs> <laughs> that's a good reading tree. tree you could sit on the crocodile someone's been feeding it pine cones <laughs> oh this one's really nice they have perfume made of this, this um, oh flower. do they yeah narcissus no way. So I literally walked around the corner and was like, oh, can you smell that? It's really strong. And then I came across this sign that said the scented garden, which is all of the really pretty smelling. Can you, smell yeah. can you not smell it? I could smell it like as soon as I walked around that corner. Maybe it's my coffee that's affecting me. Maybe. Very pretty. I like these ones. Can you smell it now? 
It's really strong here. Oh yeah, I know I can. I feel like a bloodhound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure which one it is that I can smell. Because there's probably many in this scent garden, but it smells really nice. Yeah, I want some of these. What a name, common wormwood. <laughs> that's not what that's called. Though. No, that's not what that is. I don't think that's got a label. I think it's just a space filler. Do me. Just in the suit. Signs spun back round now. Exhibition halfway around. It's a low land fen. So we've just come back to the historical quarter. There's a market on today, which wasn't here yesterday, so it must be a Sunday market. And then we're just heading to Great St. Mary's Church. Oh, the food smells really good. There's another giraffe over there. It was like, oh, a ghost, but busier in this area today. Lots of flowers are so nice. Okay, keep going. We're hoping this isn't going to take long because we are now in a serious rush. So, this is where we're going St. Great Mary's, 360 views of Cambridge, if you climb the tower. Let's go! We're back in the old bit that I wanted to see. <laughs> but look how high we are. <laughs> this is the view. The stairs are now clear for anyone wanting to make their way down. <sighs> can you imagine getting stuck on the stairs? I oh, know. Oh, here we go. There's a bit where I can put my arm out. It's probably very shaky footage. I do apologise. <laughs> Oh, there's like little armholes look that you can look out of. So there's the market. There's the Ferris wheel. It is all fenced off so it's quite safe, even for children. Buildings. This is such a cool view of the city. Play game. Let's count the church towers, shall we? <laughs> There's many. Oh. Information guide. It's very windy, so you can't really see it, but it does tell you which, what each of the buildings are from each side, which is really good. And then you can re there's a bit of research on the back as well. Very windy, so apologies, you probably wouldn't be able to see any of that. The market is the east. The original view that I showed was the south, which is this view here. And then this is the west. Yeah, so the river is just there, and that's where we did our punting. And now we've seen those two buildings from all angles. We've seen them from street view, river view, and from the and bird's eye view from on top of the church. Tower, tower view. Tower view. It's lovely. It's such a like, it's so beautiful. It's very very nice. It is lovely. And back down, no stairs. Up. Oh, you can't see it. Those are the bells. And when it rang before, we would have seen them move. Do you think so? Or do you think it's a soundtrack? I don't know. But at least they're there. That's really cool. This is the other side of the bells. Wow. 
What did you think of the tower? Oh my god, it was great! <laughs> it was really good, really good, definitely worth it. We weren't up there for too long, but it was really good to have a 360 view of yeah. Cambridge. It's quite the climb, though. It is quite the climb. It's good to see where we've been walking around, though, for the last day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel like we should have done that first. And it would yeah, have made maybe it would. <laughs> Now we're going into now we're going into the Cambridge University Press bookshop. It's a very cute bookshop. The light frequency is not working for us in this shop. So I had to rush back to the car before the parking ended, hence why I didn't finish this video in Cambridge. But I'm in the car now and heading home. Thank you so much for watching this video. Cambridge was such a lovely city. There was so much to do. It was very, very walkable, very pretty, uh, very quaint. So yeah, really, really enjoyed the weekend there. If you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It does really help us out on this channel and stick around for our next adventure. Bye.